And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Vladimir Brom. All right, starting our donation decks today. We got three of them, three viewer submitted decks. This one, you know, going with our classic Freljord and Noxus together. Our champs are going to be upgraded Vladimir, upgraded Brom. Both of these have gotten buffed uh, from before. Um, but we're going with some Trifarian Assessor stuff with Hearthguard to help get us uh, that, that card advantage. I like that. A uh, Legion Veteran, whenever our allies are surviving damage, are going to be uh, granting us that plus one, plus zero. What's up, Jump Rep? Hey, Voxel. Uh, yeah, so we're going to have Legion Veteran give some stuff plus one, plus zero, so that could help out, like, Trapper and Curator um, and things like that of uh, getting them to be large enough to be five power for Trifarian Assessor. We'll have one Spirit Walker in here, basically because Plunder is just really hard to turn on. If it was real easy to turn on, we'd be playing more of this card, but it's pretty difficult to turn on. Our main way of turning it on is going to be like Ember Maiden, so like hopefully we'll have Ember Maiden and then be able to drop the Spirit Walker. Um, besides that, maybe we have like Crimson Disciple or just a good old attacking as well. A couple of take cards to go along with the Brahms. Um, but then, of course, whenever Brahms surviving damage, if we have a Legion Veteran in play, then Brahm will get the the power buffed so that's going to be important there and then of course we have vladimir and vladimir's um, ability maybe draining the enemy nexus um, also buffing people up with the legion veteran and then being able to drop assessor draw lots of cards so that's our deck let's play some games we're gonna go play five games over in ranked oh we should probably fix this and not just play the generic stuff let's go to reckoners arena and we'll play the minion. And well, that's weird. It's like pulsating. Huh, that was weird. <laughs> uh, sorry, let's go to uh, Freljord. Freljord back. Fix this. Okay. Vladimir Brom. Sorry, I'm getting stretching. Over here, Harvey. Other side. Go over here. Good girl. So we're going to be playing five games over in ranked like we always do. We're playing a, a fifth deck today because, as you all know, Monday I'm not going to be streaming. And so uh, playing some extra decks like we played an extra deck on Thursday. Play, we'll play an extra deck today. Maybe get an extra one in tomorrow or Tuesday and really help fill in those slots. So those of you all on YouTube will still have um, at least three videos, maybe four videos on uh, Monday anyway. All right, Sejuani, Gangplank. I mean, I like Crimson Disciple plus Elixir of Iron. I'm going to keep those two, and then we'll just mulligan our other pump spells. Because, like, we're not playing anything turn one, so we can save the one spell mana with Elixir of Iron. Yeah, this is a good curve. Warning shot. I'm gonna go Trapper over Braum early like this of make it so we can help find this Yeti. I probably should be attacking with my 3-3 into their took my trapper that's a great card to take they're gonna have a 6-6 enraged yeti because playing the omen hawk afterwards what did you catch? it's pretty great um, I 
Hmm. Alright, well, I want to play Hearthguard next turn. Playing the Omanok here, we can turn this Enrage Yeti into a 6 5. Oh, they pass with no attacks. These stories were true. Just gonna be it's just like a bunch of throwing stuff up against the wall kind of thing. I don't really I guess neither of us can really get through. I don't want to just, just attack out. I guess they can't play anything right now where I can still play stuff. Yeah, they got they got some card they'll be maybe buffed with. If it's a unit, they'll be buffed with Avaraz and Hearthguard. I guess we need to attack. This is just take it up with my friends. My life for these lands. A lot of us going back and forth. We save an elixir of iron. Look what you <sighs> every scar a lesson. It'd been great to have Ember made in right now. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to cross me. It would be great to have Ember made in. Take so I think our next card is going to be pumped up plus three. Two Omen Hawks and one Hearth card ability. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, never mind. I guess we'd already gotten rid of the other Omen Hawk. So that's four going towards the Omen Hawk. No, three going towards Omen Hawk, two going towards that. Crimson Disciple. Okay. That'll work. Every scar a Leveled up Vladimir. You must be more Vladimir. And you must be supper. 
Yeah, Trifarian Assessor would definitely be a good draw. You know, with this Legion veteran making these all a lot bigger. Okay. Let's see. This will block here. Stand behind it's going to block here. That can block there. That can block Let's there. This can block here. Little plaything. I've embarrassed you twice your size. Hmm. <clears throat> I should definitely do Mega Rain after damage. Okay, so the Mega Rain kills this. They should, they should do it after damage. I guess unless they want to try to do this thing. So it kills this Mighty Poro. Which I could keep alive with the elixir, but I'm not going to. War teaches us all. They walked around. I guess maybe I should have because it just keeps getting bigger with the Legion veteran. Maybe I should have saved that with the elixir of iron. War teaches us all. Oh, I, I don't know why I didn't play that. Oh, it did kind of seem like a. I just got bored and then attacked, didn't it? Like, that was not a good attack. Hey, Blubsters. All right, one and zero. Oh. The standstill. We ended up winning that standstill. Yeah, they. I think they could have done a lot better with that maker rain if they would have just waited. But who knows? Maybe not. All right, Spooky Ezreal. Hopefully our units are going to be too big to too big for them to kill. I like this opening hand, good curve. Yeah, Legion Veteran did put in a good amount of work. And so did just like the Omen Hawks and Hearth Guards, just making my things larger. So I do want to have like transfusion kind of available to protect stuff. So I wonder if I just don't play Crimson Disciple on turn two so that I can have transfusion available. That seems weird, but I kind of want to Joke debate. do that. And I'll just play this 4-4. Yeah, so next turn we can go Braum, then the turn after we can double spell with the two Crimson cards. Or I guess we'll probably have enough mana for um, for the one mana Yeti also. It's an important hapless aristocrat that's going to play some good defense. Also an important culling strike to be able to kill... Potential Ezreal. Is it the boosters? Who knows? Let's I go Curator and Enraged Yeti next turn. Ah, no Enraged Yeti yet. Can't wait. 
Well, Braum will challenge the Trapper. So I didn't transfusion the Braum because the I was planning on challenging the Trapper with the Braum and I didn't want I didn't want Braum to die to just one damage. I want them to have to use two damage to kill Braum. I guess if I would have done the transfusion on there, then we would have gotten the 3-3 three, three to attack right now. But yeah, see if I would have done it there and then challenged the 3-3, three, three, then the Vile Feast could have killed the Braum. And I would not want Vile Feast to kill Braum. Force them to have another two damage spell. Hey Dan, uh, we're doing we're doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. You like the board music, but the board itself is kind of meh. I think these are supposed to be like the sands of the arena. Would be my guess, right? Like this this part here. That's that's kind of cool. I'm obviously not going to play anything pre-combat and let them get the trapper. Oh man, that hurts. That hurts that that was... Oh, I guess that wasn't necessarily the top card because they drew another card with the Static Shock, but... Yeah, it still hurts that they have that card. Sometimes I see hot, just needs warm spot. All right, five fives trade. We challenge the one one and attack in with everything else. This is fun, yes. All right, down to one. If only Crimson Disciple dealt two damage <laughs> instead of one damage. Uh, no, I don't. I don't play too much Braum and Nivea, um, but I don't play too much Braum and Nivea myself. But I do. I do think that deck's pretty good. Alright, killing their blocker. Gonna make them have removal spell for this. They basically need vengeance. That's kind of about it. You know, like we got this this pump spell, so it's force them to have vengeance. If they don't have vengeance, they lose. Well, I guess they could have, I guess have a jury rig, I guess. No, they found it. That was one of those two cards they drew. That's too bad. Well, they're they're ahead now. That was a clutch ruination. What's that noise? My Vladimir. Speaking of clutch. I must get out of here. Pretty clutch, Vladimir. Gotcha. 
So of course I want to play this pre-combat because then I can attack with Vladimir and drain two. That's that's my goal. Good, glad not ruination. I don't think there's really one stronger than the other with ruination or vengeance. They're you know, they you know, they kinda of just do a little bit different things. They're both very valuable at you know, depending on what the board state is. But I wouldn't say that you know, like either one is uh, stronger than the other. There we go. Two and O oh with Vlad Brom. Your taste is impeccable. All right. There we go. Two T two O. Oh. Um. It depends on the deck. I don't want to just necessarily say that a control deck needs three of each. Um. You know, I guess it really depends on on the deck, and it depends on the format and all that kind of stuff. Depends on like what else is in the deck, but it's um, maybe not that three is completely necessary of both. I don't, I don't know. I don't really like saying that anything is needed. Do I keep Assessor? I mean, Assessor can be really powerful. I kind of just like keeping Culling Strike for Ezreal. Because it's going to be... It's like one of those things that it's... Um, really nice to have. Yeah, our first two games, we definitely had a whole lot better curve than this game. First two did a lot better job curving. The Spirit gives to those who listen. Yeah, exactly. It's nice to have buffed assessor, not regular assessor. You know, with Omen Hawker, Hearth Guard. The dark beckons. Everyone pleads for the right prize. I will play my part. Yeah, we're we're behind the eight ball a little bit with how our hand was. We drew the Crimson Disciple. I turned too late. And yeah, we're we're behind the eight ball. I helped build this empire. But we're gonna be trying. I didn't keep the transfusion because I didn't have any Bloody units to keep it with. And if I was already keeping a spell with cooling strike, I thought, you know, like curving out with different um units was important and um yeah i didn't want to just keep two spells and then i mulligan and then i just kind of like draw two more spells and we don't really do anything So pause a little bit there before clicking OK. Kind of shows that I have a spell in hand. Uh, maybe Elixir of Iron, like like doing the, the Elixir of Iron math. So I might have... Might have kind of told my opponent that I have Elixir of Iron. And therefore they may just be playing around Elixir of Iron. I can't wait. more. I wouldn't mind that. Like if they try, you know, like five five damage thermogenic beam to kill three three health things. 
For example. Look what you did. Okay, this side of the dragon is going to be a big problem. I'm going to just get rid of it. It's going to be a problem. I know I don't have that for Ezreal later, we may regret that later, but... They walked around. Delicious. While I may regret that later... I, I, I want to try to play the Spirit Walker this turn, by the way, that's what, that's what I'm going for. While I may regret that later, I'm, I'm definitely going to be farther ahead because they don't have like that 1-3 and these 2-1 life steals to be blocking. So it's definitely going to be helping out I thought you'd never ask. getting rid of the multiple bodies. Watch and learn. Well that's not, that's not a bad draw. Alright, took up their, their deny. We will draw two. Few earn the right to call themselves Trifarian. Sure. Basically took up their turn. I don't think this is really the matchup to just go straight to combat because their deck is just filled with spells. Like that's, like they're just usually just fine with us just going straight to combat. I think this is more of a matchup to play stuff out and get more threats in play before attacking. Yeah, I guess Yone is a card that I didn't really consider. Yone would have been bad. would be better with Leviathan and Swain. It's hard to argue that. Um, if this happens, we're drawing two Crimson units. We're going to draw two more units. Okay, it does not happen. Down to one. Sounds dangerous. I want to draw transfusion. Gotcha. Come on, transfusion. Yeah, yeah. Double it up. We 
And of course, one transfusion to go with our Crimson Disciple. So they have to have the health potion. Stay alive. That is not a health potion. Strength through suffering. Jeez. Your taste is impeccable. All right, we are three and O. Oh. Vladimir Brom. <laughs> yeah, we have to have we have to have two cards just to make just to get a warning shot. Basically. We have to have a, a combo a, a two card combo just to create a warning shot. Ooh. Draven Vi. Man, I, just, I love Hearthguard. I'm gonna keep it, but it's you know it's not something I can play early on in the game. Oh no! Do another five drop, four drop. I brought my books. Hope that's all right. Come on, deck, help me out. Let's get something that costs two or three mana. Then we'll have the Culling Strike also. Preferably. Oh no! I meant a unit that costs two or three mana. Well, that's gotta go. My money. I don't. I mean, I. I mean, I. Is it Draven Vise a Mogwai deck? I mean, I guess it depends on maybe they're maybe that's the version they're playing. I mean, I. I made a Draven Vi deck like two days ago. That we played that was pretty awesome. That was the Captain Farron burn. That was a good deck. Uh, we're going to skip this block. So if I play Enraged Jetty, I'll have Transfusion and Elixir of Iron also available for these kind of things. I'm going to just play Enraged Jetty. I'm trying. We'll see if we win. I'm trying. Anything else? <laughs> so, want to play Hearthguard because I want to play Hearthguard as early as possible. And uh, now we have some different pump spells to help protect stuff. Where's my money, Bookie? Draven, good to, uh, I don't know, Bookie. Bookie Draven's a nice combo. Out with the okay, so I'm going to go with Brom, Brom try to kill Book. Brom transfusion kill Bookie.
and then take heart. Vi stands for violence. So it doesn't really matter to take heart Braum if they can just kill Braum with Vi. Today we fight as one. Good luck. Uh, guillotine can't kill Vi. Oh, oh, the guillotine. Never mind, guillotine. I was think. I'm sorry. I was thinking the calling strike. No, I mean we'll just I mean, we'll just we'll just block Vi with something. We'll be fine. Tell it to the fists. You got an axe with your name on it. I didn't do nothing. Vi will just die to the you know. Just trade with the 5-5, five five. that's good. Hmm, not quite. Never mind. Do I take heart Braum? Still challenge and trade with Braum instead of challenge and kill Braum. Yeah, Vi with Whirling Death, quite good. Yeah, exactly. Imagine if we had a, a if we had a free spell like Flash Freeze in hand at that time, that would have been amazing. Why did I think this Brom? Oh, because the Brom had the two from the. Okay, that was just a really bad take heart. I don't know why I was thinking the Braum was going to have five. I just forgot about the two was from the transfusion. I was thinking I was doing that to put it up to five power. Yeah, that was just really bad. That was a really bad take heart. The good news, though, is Vi does have some damage on her, so it's going to be easier to kill Vi now. I've dressed for the occasion. Do we have an auction guillotine in the deck? Okay, we do have an auction guillotine in the deck. Let me show you what I can do. Blood isn't a toy, dear. People are.
really want to, like, besides, I guess, Guillotine to kill Vi, we really want to be drawing Trifarian Assessor. Getting that five, that five power stuff with the Trifarian Assessor. I love a taste of the action. Let it flow! Did I really want to just proact, you know, attack with Enraged Yeti and proactively Elixir of Iron to keep it from dying, and then it just, you know, gets blocked by the astute academic? You're disrupting my research. Yes, yeah, I played the smaller Vlad to try to have this this Vlad die to something and then I then I can play the bigger Vlad afterwards. That's my Yes, whirling is a strike spell, yes. Vi only does damage while attacking. As far as striking is concerned. So just hoping they don't have more vies. As long as they don't have more vies, I'm not really scared of anything else. Nope, they got more vies. You must be Lord Vladimir. And you must be Supper. Just have a 7-7 seven, seven to block the 3-3. Three, three. If I can kill either one of my other two and, it's, and I take 5. Hey, Ivad, I am having a great Saturday. Thanks for asking. Yeah, I certainly expected that spinning axe. I'm just I'm hoping the elixir of iron kills the draven. Cause this would be you know, I will definitely take this trade of getting all those things out of here. You know, they only have two other cards in hand. It's not super likely that those will just kill my four six when like those cards that they if they could kill the four six, they maybe could have killed this five one for a while. Okay, second Vi out of here. Definitely great news. And Crimson Curator was probably the very best card to hit. Like with this Crimson Curator, we get another one. Hello, dear. What have you got us into now? Do you have to worry about my life total with Ember Maiden doing damage to me? Destruction feeds my fire. Do need to worry about that. Delicious. 
card. What spells do I have? If I played this Crimson Disciple first, that shuts down Fury of the North from being a draw. So I don't think I do. It's only I'm only losing out on one damage. I love a man with style. So I think we need to draw either Fury of the North or Transfusion. One of those two that will kill a Vi whenever Vi attacks. Okay, we had Transfusion, so I could have played the Crimson Disciple first and gotten that one point of damage in. Come, Clara, we have much to teach you. I can't wait. They all scream. I guess this two three does give Vi a blocker. I, I, Vi, Vi could block these things and not die. These three powers and not die. Nothing but a footnote. Alrighty. Now I've lost my place. There's the one two punch. Come on. So if they block like that, they lose. If they block the other way, we kill Vi. Either way, we kill Vi. Or like, we either kill them or kill Vi. Okay, we will kill them. GG's. That was a perfect draw. You know, we needed either Fury of the North or... We need Fury of the North or Transfusion, and we hit Transfusion with that Trifarian Assessor. And that's why we play Trifarian Assessor. Okay, we're 4 and 0 oh with Vladimir Braum. Let's go. GG's. Yeah, that was the. Would have taken down the last Vi if they would have blocked the other way. Um, that's true. Guillotine. That's true. The, the Guillotine would have also just killed the Vi, which, you know, like at that point, that's all we were trying to do is kill Vi. So yeah, Guillotine would have done that as well. So that's true. Can we get the 5-0 dream? Two days in a row we did yesterday with Winter Ezreal. Can we get there two days in a row? Playing against another Ezreal deck. I'm glad that we I'm glad that we've been dodging the Frostbite uh, matchup. Like the Frostbite midrange. Because they're very similar deck to us, but kind of better. But we've been playing against all the other stuff, and I think that's good. Let's I kinda wanna keep all these. I mean, I think trans Transfusion's awesome against an Ezreal deck, being a pump spell. We want to draw more units, but our deck is filled with units. That shouldn't be too hard. I got the kids. I don't know, maybe that's too hard. Let me show you what Ouch. Because I have to block. And I don't want a Culling Strike that. So where's all the million units? Look at Averroes and Trapper. Crimson Curator. Fury of the North. We have 28 units and 12 spells. 12 spells. I guess I shouldn't have kept two spells, because I should have known that my first four draws were all going to be spell, spell, spell. Uh If I don't do this, they get either Elixir of Iron, Transfusion, Cooling Strike, Noxion, Guillotine, Take Heart, or Fury of the North. 
Those are all really difficult ones to beat. This can definitely bite us later with Ezreal or Swain, but I think it's... I think it's worth it for now. I'm not going to play Braum with no protection against, like, Thermogenic Beam. Let us get going. You would have been nice a lot earlier, Omen Hawk. Sad. So I guess I shouldn't have played Omen Hawk. I was thinking play Omen Hawk so I have Transfusion. That's what I was thinking. But if I just didn't play Omen Hawk, I could have had Fury of the North against Culling Strike. I didn't really consider Culling Strike. Alright, that's a good Legion Veteran. It's like a 4 mana 5-6. Be pretty good. Cool, no ravenous flock. Let's go. Trifarian Assessor. Let's go. I don't think Ever Maiden's really worth playing. Doing the one damage to stop, it just kind of helps my opponent kill my things. Could definitely have a static shock. Killing my stuff. So their Swain's leveled up. Is Ezreal leveled up too now? Yes, yeah, so they're both leveled up. Let's get this over with. And I got Fury of the North on offense. So I saved one of these. I think we saved the Legion Veteran. It 
Dang. Finally found Ravenous Flock. I'll turn on the plunder for my spirit walker. I'm so good, I surprised myself. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. No, get out of here. Bad Ezreal. I should be doing this during combat, shouldn't I? Because they could just drop a new Ezreal if they have two in hand. I should be doing that during combat. So Trifarian Cessor is our best draw. Probably Avros and Hearthguard, maybe the next one. What's up, Potato? Glad you got a lot done today. Lurkin having the stream on in the background, getting stuff done. Glad to hear. Yuck. That's the worst card to draw. Oh, and that's the worst card to see from them. Definitely too slow out of the gate with all spells early. And they had they had enough removal for like those two cards that we had that one turn. All right, four and one. Four and one. Usually, as we saw with a lot of those other games, usually like we're pretty good against the just the spell-based decks because we have such huge units. Usually, like that's that's a good matchups for us. But we really had nothing going for so long there. Um, I kept the two transfusions. Really got punished for it with us drawing three spells in a row afterwards. Culling strikes were absolutely amazing. Ember Maiden is is really meh. It's basically we have Ember Maiden kind of because of Spirit Walker. Um, I guess kind of helps with veteran and stuff too, but the Ember Maiden looked pretty poor a couple of times. Um, yeah, that was that was one we almost didn't really play, but decided to. Um, I had a bad play with the Braum in that last game. How I played Omenhawk before Braum. If I would not have done that, if I would have just played Braum, I could have responded to Culling Strike with Fury of the North and. You know, maybe we could have had, like, this regenerative Braum that could have done some work for us. Um, you would change Ember for BB. I don't know what BB is. What's What does that mean? Brothers Bond? Probably not that card. Babbling Bjerg. That would be better. Our gives more four mana cards. But yeah, Babbling Bjerg. Babbling Bjerg is a great card. It does help with the, the long games also. It kind of helps with your assessor plan too. With, with getting you hearth guards and stuff. Yeah, Babbling Bjerg is a great one. Um, I, I was kind of thinking of changing Ember Maiden more for, for like Glory Seeker. Which doesn't really help. It wouldn't help in that Ezreal matchup, but it would it would help against like the your other mid range decks, like your Frostbite mid range and stuff. Because we do have a lot of like threes and fours. And I was thinking maybe get another two and like Glory Seeker, you can draw off of Assessor 
and stuff as well. I don't know if the deck needs more card draw. I don't I don't know if that's that's honestly true. I think it it just it's it's all about curving out. I think that the biggest weakness was not curving out and so then then we lost a, a late game because we just didn't do anything for a while. So then you could be like, oh, well, we lost. A... So I think that the misconception is, oh, you lost a late game. You need more card draw. And I don't think that's really it. I think we need to be able to pressure our opponent a whole lot more earlier and then have like those few spells help uh, finish the game. But we just didn't do anything forever and just let them get, you know, a perfect hand, let them sculpt their hand. And then it was just too late. Yeah, or, yeah, maybe that's the yeah. Maybe instead of instead of glory, I don't hate that. Instead of glory seeker playing just Averroes and Sentry, Averroes and Sentry is a great two drop. That's a card that I'm basically always happy to have. So yeah, I could definitely see Averroes and Sentry going in the two mana slot also to help again to help that curve. I wouldn't mind that at all. Um, I don't know if this is the best Vladimir deck. This is a good one. Um, I also really like Vlad this Vladimir Swain with Demacia. It's the same kind of thing, but, you know, has Swain, Leviathan, and uh, Demacia stuff with um, Tough. Give Tough to Crimson Disciple and Crimson Curator and stuff like that. But this was a good one. Again, you're gonna be this deck's gonna be pretty weak to frostbite mid-range. But besides that, I think the like the usually the spell heavy decks like your Ezreals and your controls and stuff, you can you can have a pretty good um time against them as long as you can curve out well. I like that idea of Averroes and Sentry for the two mana slot. What would this look like if we play sentries? Play sentry over Emperor Maiden and Spirit Walker. That could definitely work. Cause it you know, you want you want Hearth Guard Assessor against that kind of stuff. I could definitely see doing that. I wanna be mad at that. Yeah, it's it is nice playing Vladimir. I I really do like playing Vladimir decks. Vladimir is a fun champion to play. This is a well designed champion. Um, but you're right, not many people play Vladimir, but it's it's a fun one to play, for sure. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And, of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd really appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching some Vladimir Braum, and I'll see you for the next video.